What's going on, buddy? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last episode, we decided to let the world end. And this time, we're going to decide to let the world not end. No, I'm not sure if I want the world to end. Would you like to think it over? No. I'm okay. I know what I'm doing. Wait, what? I said no. I don't want... What? Wait. Wait. Yes. I would like to think it over. Isaac, will you take the fate of the world in your hands? Yes! See how the world reacts. You accept? Oh, Isaac, you can't mean it. You can't meme it. You chose to leave your decision to Isaac. There shall be no further discussion. <laughs> My grandson, you're not allowed to back out of this. Oh, wise one, these two have accepted your quest. Give us your next command. I guess that's what that weird ult is for. You two are quite brave to take on this quest. Also, sorry, this is a different voice. It's been a, it, it a new recording session. I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. Bye, wise one. Goodbye. I hope to see you again someday. That was the wise one. What did the wise one say? <laughs> you can hear him. You silly goose. He said, Nod. Felix must unlock the power. Find the lighthouses. You'll have the guidance of the elemental star. Felix must unlock the power. Interesting. Felix must unlock the power. Not Isaac. Felix. Um, then what? What should they do there? <laughs> Surely that cannot be all the advice you can offer them, great healer. Seek the elementals, the Jin. They'll prove useful. The Jin, hey? I used to pronounce that as the Jin. That still sounds kind of better than Jin, in my opinion, though. Is there anything else? That is all. That's it? Isn't there anything else you could tell them? And that's all, Mayor. I'll leave it up to you, Isaac Garrett. Dramatic walkout. Well then. <laughs> Awkward silence? <laughs> uh, hey, isn't it almost time to meditate? That's so weird these guys have beards. I never know. I thought that was like a scarf or something. All these years, I thought those were scarves. Oh yeah, meditation, let's go. All right, bye monks. Oh, what good are those guys? Setting children off with no help or direction. I agree, but that's good. Open world explanation's good. And give us any other choice. Then, when should they go? Doesn't sound like we can afford to wait. We must go now! Tomorrow then? Very soon. Tomorrow? Yes. Alright, bye mom. Bye. Why is everyone hanging around the town gates? What? Didn't you hear? Isaac Garrett leaving Val on a journey. Fail. Dang it. <laughs> I wish I could go. Or it's gonna be really dangerous. Oh yeah? So everyone's down there to say goodbye? Popper! Oh, there's one of the puppies you saw earlier, probably. I just love how like Vale is so beaming of life and That's cool, I really like it. Hey, what's the matter? Weird, Isaac's mother isn't there to see him off. You're right, she's not there. Popper! Hey, should we go say goodbye too? Sure, let's go! That was a lot of sprites on screen. We are counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and you too, Garrett. <laughs> 
Okay, no one's gonna remember you. Everyone's, everyone's gonna remember the sound protagonist for some reason. Don't drink the water if it smells funny, and take this with you too. Is it good in I know not to drink the stagnant water, sis. Don't listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. <laughs> Rude. Hmm, Dora's very late. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give this to you, Isaac. Isaac got the catch beads. Guess we're all set to go, huh, Isaac? But my mom's not here. Think again, Garrett. Must be very difficult for Dora. As Garrett's mother, I know how Dora must be feeling. But I still have Garrett's father while Dora only has Isaac. She doesn't want you to go, Isaac. But she knows you have to, and it hurts to see you leave. That's sad. Empty nest syndrome. They can't keep standing around like this, or they'll never leave. So, one final farewell. Farewell! <laughs> Goodbye. And this is it. This is the world map. Welcome every, what is that? But before we go on our journey, there's a few things left to do in Vale here. So we're gonna run back in and everyone's gonna immediately forget what we just left. Are you worried about crossing the line with just the two of you? Yeah? The one or two deep in unknown lands is not brave to fight against helpless odds. Um, so I'm not gonna talk to everyone again here. You'll probably save that for another time. Oops, I didn't actually mean to talk to you. If you follow the road east and head north, you'll hit Goma Range. Oh, we actually are healed up. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna use the synergy stone if necessary, but we don't need to do that. Okay. Um, there's a few notes I wrote down here for people of interest to talk to. Long ago, Lumpa, the righteous thief, found a town in the north. That is not a whole lot of information. Um, one of my notes says, talk to the blacksmith's people. Come back as a strong warrior, Isaac, but then I'll surely be a fine smith. Which is really weird, because I, like I said, I don't think this guy ever does anything. Maybe he gives you a weapon later on? I don't think so, though. I want Jenna to be my daughter-in-law. Now she's gone. This is terrible. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a interesting thing. They want Jenna to marry him. I wanted to go to the story here. Synergy runs low, touch Synergy Stone and replenish it. Unfortunately, the eruption blasted the stone Helter, Helter Skelter. Never heard that phrase before. Um, oh, actually, talking to the uh, item person girl. Uh, this is my farewell gift. I was like, took an herb. Yay, an herb. Herb, 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 herb. Come in, welcome to a look at our fine weapons. What would you like? Oh, we only have 52 coins still, really? Jeez, I thought we had more money than that. Do we have anything to sell? We could sell this ancient sinner or this ancient Mars star. We can't buy that. <laughs> I, think we, I think these guys actually have some funny text as well, though. We almost felt so empty quiet as you two. I just left, dude, five minutes ago. Stiff I was not saying at all. Go, just go! <laughs> oh you guys. Uh, my notes also say talk to the young guy at the end. So let's go on here real quick. The air is sparkling because of the mount uh, eruption at Mount Aleph. Do you think the falling powder is crushed synergy stones? I saw the wise one. The same wise one from all the heels tail tales. This is a blessing. A blessing indeed. It's actually interesting because all the old people you talk to, they mostly only talk about like religious stuff like the wise one and worship and stuff, which is really weird. The mass amount is Felix, right? It's hard to believe, but what if Jenna was involved in all this? Yeah, that's an interesting plot point. That would have somehow Jenna was uh, involved in all. We, I don't think so. Otherwise, she had, would have had put on a weird face for that. The Zuners called the eruption and kidnapped Jenna. I knew there was something strange about them. Oh, I can't run around there. We're a small hotel, we, and we get few guests, but we also look at this place clean just in case. Yeah, this village that doesn't really let anyone in ever. And yeah, there's no one up here anymore. This village that never really lets anyone in ever. Um. They, it's weird that they even have an in, you know? North, I do want to go say bye to my mom. You look suspicious. We promise synergy before entering a dungeon. Shop warriors know we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, something has actually changed a little bit up here. This doesn't really have much bearing at all. If you look in this roof, there's actually something sitting in there. Uh, the door's locked, though. You can't interact with it anyway. It's really weird. Uh, it's really weird because this is just a very small plot point. Um, we'll return here later, though, and see what that is. This is a very, very, very tiny thing that really has, like, no bearing at all. Is this guy standing? Oh, I think this might have the same text, alright? I don't blame Felix. 
Only what I'll say on that fateful day. I guess for coming here to kidnap the elemental star is weird. I'm so jealous of you being able to leave town. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the guy who wants to leave. People aren't really allowed to leave town, are they? Because they don't want the world knowing of the power of synergy. And here's Jenna's house, or her grandparents' house at least. Says that Jenna's brother Felix is alive, but why is he caught up with a bunch with that bunch of Raven Soul Sanctum? Please return my precious granddaughter Jenna to me. I'll be waiting. After Jenna was taken, grandmother grew sick with despair. Oh no. Grandma might die. That's sad. Well, that's Jenna's house. And the younger lady was her aunt, by the way. I mentioned that before, but just in case. So we're slowly working our way towards uh, my mom's house and Garrett's parents' house and see what if they have any final thoughts for us before heading out. Sigh, no longer off to see Jenna standing there looking lonely. So I, guess, I believe this is the guy we actually could have talked to you and you would have told us that uh, he sees Jenna standing here every day. The door open for us to impact and his mouth hinges us off. Yeah. <laughs> I actually found it kind of weird they never let you go back in there. It would have been cool to see what the house looked like, but you know, probably for the best. But really weird that I'm demolished his house. So, we got the catch beads earlier when we were leaving town. For the longest time I ever first started playing this game, I had no idea. Bestows catch when equipped. I had no idea what that meant. Bestow synergy. So there will be uh, occasional items in this game that you'll collect that you can actually equip. And when you do, you'll see it says catch learned. So now if you go to our synergy men menu, we have this new option. Catch. Grab light objects from afar. So this is mostly used to grab nuts from trees. Sometimes there's stuff like apples. Uh, it's, it's a very rarely used synergy though. But we got a nut switch. If we check it out will heal 200 HP, which is very nice. A lot more HP than either Garrett or Isaac have. Mail safe thanks to the wise one. There we go, once again, the, all the older people talking about religion, which I don't know if that's like a weird thing for them to mention. Is there anything else? Yeah. Talk to the healer, I don't know. Who are you? You can't be, you don't know Isaac, are you? Yes. Isaac, that's a lie. He promised not to return until he fulfills his mission. But Isaac would keep his promise. Go away. Oh, Mom. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry, but I don't want to see anyone today. Oh, that's sad. Oh, Mom. It's because Crane was stunning Elkby. That's why the mountain erupted, isn't it? See, people who caused this whole mess had strange powers. Is that true? They're using synergy. That means there are other towns that... Other than Vale with synergy. Yeah, that's a very interesting thought as well. But, I mean, you know, it's like, of course there is. This is probably a very rare thing. And here's Garrett's house. Receiving a quest directly from the Wise One must be quite an honor. As mothers, Dory and I will continue to worry about you. It doesn't matter how old you get, we will always be your babies. That is very true. That's actually something my mom has said over and over again all throughout my life. Isaac, please take care of my grandson, Garrett. I'm proud of you, Garrett, my own son, on such an important quest. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. Please take care of my brother, Isaac. You guys are so lucky, Garrett. I wish I could go with you. No, you don't want to come with me. That's kind of weird when certain characters when you talk to them, they'll start watching you until you leave. The ground still shakes sometimes, but everyone says the danger is gone. Okay, here's the last people I'm gonna talk to before we get the heck out of here. You feel any change in your synergy? I think so. Oh, I wish the wise one would come to me and give me power. Higher Mount Aleph stems from the synergy stones. If the eruption casts the synergy stones across the land, then perhaps new adepts will. Adepts. Adepts? Adepts? I never know how to say that either. Yeah, yeah. My control over synergy has grown since yesterday evening. It must be because I met the wise one. Yep. And you'll still have the same options here. These guys will probably become relevant later on. Well, that, that's a bit weird because they become relevant, they become less relevant. And I should just romp here freely now. Like, oh, this is a guy guarding it. It's very dangerous to go beyond here when Mount Elif is active. Leave immediately. I should have to do this, but when we first started playing and like we had to go meet Kraden and we came up here first and the guy pushed us back and he was like guarding the area, I should have actually tried to walk by him and like go up the mountain without Kraden, just see what happens. I think like Garrett comes out and like, we have to go see or we have to go see Crane first. Ever since the tremors started, Mount Elif has been impossible to climb. I guess Crane saw him come back. No, but I guess she misses him. Ripperoni and all the pepperoni. Talk to that lady. Uh, we never went this way, however. Let's just make sure. I always thought there was like two or three trees in town with uh, nuts on it, but no, I guess there's just the one. Mayor was too kind to those strangers. None of this would have happened if we kicked those travelers out. But yeah, but there's no way to know that. Sure, they seem a bit suspicious, but to just kick someone out because they look suspicious, that's a bit on the racist side, especially because it was a blue man and a red lady. Jeez, a racist. 
system. Okay, 50 minutes in the episode. <laughs> Let's head outside. And the last time, sleep veil. Vale. For now, anyways, maybe we'll return someday. And immediately we're greeted by whatever this is. An enemy encounter, perhaps? Oh! What is this thing? A traveling warrior! And I see her in a dub, too! You're just the kind of fighter I've been looking for. Would you please take me along with you? I'm a Venus Ginny. My name is Flint. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you could help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you, Adeps. Your synergy will grow stronger, and your Adep skills will also improve. You could call on us in our ba in battle, or just use our power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? So, I could just say yes, and he'll just go, Oh, great! Let me show you how to use me. But, we're gonna say no. Oh, come on! I promise you won't. We're gonna please take me with you. Nah. Please! I'll never let you down. Can I go with you? No. No. No, I'm serious. I'll never, ever disappoint you. Please. Please take me with you, please. I'm begging. <laughs> please, no, absolutely not. <laughs> take me with you, Meanie. I don't care what you say. I'm coming along with you. <laughs> like enough of this crap. Flint of the Venus Ginny is now Isaac's ally. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. After bringing a Ginny into your party, you must set it to somebody. This tutorial takes so long. There's no way to skip it. Uh, to give your Ginny to someone else, move it like this. So you have the option to move Jin around, and uh, there are benefits to giving them to people, as you'll see. There are a bunch of stats and nothing changed, but after choosing a Jin, or who will choose your, who will take the Jinny, you can set it. So yes, there are two options to Jin. You'll see it red text here, which is set. Uh, setting a Jinny changes your attributes, and maybe even your class. So you'll see there, you'll see growth, which is yellow, which means you're gaining that power. Move is white text, meaning that nothing has changed there, and flare is red, meaning you're losing that synergy. You'll also see all the stats down there. You'll see attack or his HP is going up, attack PP stays the same, attack goes up, fence goes down, agility goes up, luck goes down. Depending on what gen it is, it'll give you different effects. When your class changes, the synergy you could use may also change. Uh -huh. Next, I'll show you how could use us in battle. Jenny has different powers. Strike a blow that could cleave stone. Once we are set, you could unleash us to uh, use our powers. So let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. <laughs> Ridiculous. You'll see Isaac's all his stats go up. Zombie! We'll be going over the stats of this guy later once we see him for real since this is just a tutorial. I'm not controlling this, by the way. Choose this command to unleash me in battle. Okay, whoa, that's a weird flash. That's a weird flashy flash. So yeah, we now have a new um, we do have a new uh, ability in our slots here. That's all you have to do to unleash a set genie. Garrett. So Isaac unleashes Flynn, zombie takes 30 damage. See? Uh, when you unleash me, I attack with a mighty stone cleaver. After being unleashed, we Jin have a standby to be summoned. So, after you use a Jin, as a fact in battle, you can also summon him. If you have a standby Jin, you can summon uh, even greater powers. So, yeah, there's Set and then there's Standby. Tell them the power of Earth. This is where things get real interesting. Uh, Isaac summons Venus, Zombie takes 45 damage. And he did. See, Regen can be very useful, can't we? And one more thing. <laughs> the other thing it could be said to is recovery. After the genie has been used to summon, it must spend time in recovery. And after we recover, we set ourselves again and be ready to attack. So, we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. It is a, it is a simple circle. That's the simplest way to use us. Did you get all that? Yes. Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about Jin, refer to the, to the help, okay? I, thought, I was always confused about this, because the hand there, I thought I could, like, actually go over that, but no, you gotta hit select to get help. Okay, I'll join you now, thank you very much. Please use Jin wisely. So, Jin. There's, uh, seven of each type in the game. Uh, each type being Earth, Fire, Wind, and 
water? Did I say water? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got flint! Awesome! So yeah, as you explained, you, there's, there's essentially two ways to go about this. When you have a Jin set like this, your stats will go up greatly, but uh, the trade-off is you can't use a summon, which is typically uh, way more powerful than normal attacks. Or you could have it uh, on standby, yeah, standby, and you can immediately summon, but you lose some stat effects. So what I normally like to do is I don't like to keep them set and then use them in battle. Um, Flint, however, will uh, he gives you a, a, a plus eight HP, plus four PP, and plus three attack when you send them typically on somebody. I should actually, it is base, but it is um, also based on percentages, I believe, as well. Because you'll see, I'll give Isaac nine HP instead of eight, like I said. And that three attack, and it give, yeah, it gives him three attack there though. However, if you give us the gear, I think he'll give me slightly different stats, right? Yeah, see, it's uh, HP only goes up by four for him, so it really depends. It's really kind of weird how they work. It's very interesting though, and it is a very interesting aspect of the game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start it by here and set, and let's uh let's see if we get into a battle, shall we? Best way to uh, head forth here is walk forward, follow the path. So let's try using him in battle here. When you attack with him, it is a normal attack plus 60% damage. So let's bring up he have no Jin. So let's get out of no Jin. See if we can use something else. Use some flare. Boom! No new enemies here. There are new enemies now that we're in the overworld, however, and I don't believe. Yeah. Alright, so the enemies that we could find that we've seen before that have the same stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> they can run. Cool. That was a poopy battle. Uh you could find vermin. Bats, wild mushrooms, which we just saw, we also saw the vermin, slimes, and a maze here. There's also, oh the, no, there is, the vermin actually do have different uh, statuses this is now. What do we see, the vermin, and was it the mild, wild mushroom we saw? So the vermin are now level 3, the XP they drop is uh, 4, the, they drop 4 gold, they have 36 HP. Oh crap, was it a bat or was it a wild mushroom we saw? I think it was a wild mushroom. Those are level 3, they drop 3 XP, 3 gold, they have 30, 34 HP. Um, they have Soothing Star, which could put you to sleep, and they also have a 3.125% chance to drop a Smoke Bomb, and the Vermin have a 6.25% chance to drop an Herb. <laughs> Here's the Vermin once again, so I guess I could have explained that here. So now that that's it, we can use um, Venus again. We'll just attack with Gear just to save some of his synergy. This might actually be... Well, I was kind of hoping I'd kill most of them, actually. Oh, there we go! There's actually a chance, I believe it's like a 10% chance for a critical, which will do double attack damage. That's always nice, that's available whenever anyone attacks, not for, like, synergy or anything. There, there we go, Isaac now level 3, maximum HP up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 1, agility by 4. <gasps> you got 12 coins. Alright, there's actually the next village right there. Uh, I do want to get into another battle here, however, see if we can see someone. No. Well, here's a bat. This is, the, things have changed with him as well. This is the only time in the game where the same enemies you've already fought get different stats. Uh, this bat's level 3, 30 HP, so he should be dead there. Yep. Uh, 2 XP, 3 gold. They also have, use Sonic Wave, uh, which is just uh, deals additional damage, and they have a 6.25% chance of dropping herb as well. Alright! Right in front of this village here? You guys will have to wait till next time to see what's inside. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, in the next one, we'll enter whatever this new mysterious town is that's neighboring our own. Goodbye, everyone!